Not all young people are ready for two weeks work experience in a corporate environment, so it gives serious consideration to who you put forward for the project. For some young people it would be a step too far too soon. Three days training before the placement were crucial. The young people were taught interview techniques and took part in confidence building exercises. It helped make the whole programme a success. I would advise using an outside agency for this work. We're the ones who are always on at them about getting up in the morning, dressing appropriately, getting application forms and so on. If we had run the course there, there would have been a danger the young people would switch off. We had to get care leavers excited about work experience by talking about the benefits, the experience, the enhanced CVs. We had to get around their initial reaction. What? You want me to work for two weeks for nothing? It's a tough one. You have to be honest. While they're always going to be better off in employment, it's not necessarily by a lot. It's difficult to motivate someone when working a 37 hour week means they'll take home 30 pounds more than they would have on benefits. We have to understand these young people have more responsibility and more barriers than most their age. Any scheme has to recognise this fact. I was able to provide all the support I could because I had a quiet caseload at the time. If this project had happened another time, I might not have been able to put in this amount of time and effort. The support worker needs time to dedicate to the project, and it does take a lot of time. It's no good offering this kind of work experience if you can't be there for the young person. We tried to set up some more work experience later on, but the young people decided it wasn't for them. At that time, I was snowed under with other work and couldn't give the time and effort to the young people. I felt that if I'd been able to, we possibly could have made things work. One of the great things about this scheme is that the employers treated young people like employees. They weren't made to feel like work experience kids, they were part of the workforce and it made a huge difference. Each of the employers that took part have been vetted to make sure they would offer suitable, meaningful employment. It's really tempting when you've got targets and deadlines to partner with any employer that offers a place, but that can be really dangerous. The two young people we worked with were friends. This really helped make it successful because they could share their experiences. We offered each other support, talked about what they were doing and in effect they became each other's peer mentors. This happened by chance but it's definitely something we would build into future schemes. I think there's a danger that we make care leavers overly reliant on leaving care workers and other professionals. It's a really good life skill to learn, turn to your friends for support. There's a real danger that the work experience can feel disconnected from the young person's day-to-day -day struggle to find employment. The only way to avoid that is to build in really solid support once the placement ends. We're employing someone full-time to manage this so that there will be proper continuation. She will work with the young people to identify any qualifications that are needed, run CV workshops, improve interview techniques and take forward any lessons and insights gained from the placement. We have to use the work experience as a way of motivating young people back into training, qualifications and employment. There's no doubt care leavers need extra support. They're living alone with no adult supervision. If their parents were there, they would have helped, so that becomes our job. I went with our young people to the training and to the interview. I went with them to buy clothes for the interview and I phoned them up the night before to say make sure your clothes are ironed, get a clean shirt ready and have an early night and then I took them in on their first day. It's important that young people see their leaving care worker putting some effort in. It's good for the young person to see that we don't automatically know how to get to the office. We have to use maps, get lost, get up early, get stressed. It demystifies things a little. It makes them realise we all get flustered. It's perfectly normal and not a sign of failure.